I really wasn't gone that long. I literally just talked to you guys less than seven minutes ago. But I'm doing Entrepreneur Pitfall number 11 because I have two videos that I have to get done today. So Entrepreneur Pitfall number 11 is going to be um, when you lack creativity. So lacking creativity and what you should do about that. Um, one of the things that I have been experiencing as a result of being disappointed and being frustrated, which was, uh, which was pitfall number ten, um, um, is is lack of creativity. So when I get myself into a space where I'm overwhelmed and I'm frustrated, um, I have a tendency to struggle with creativity. Um, and creativity is a huge part of what I do um, as a marketing specialist, um, even as a business developer and as a training um, developer. So in here, here's why. Um, when you do marketing um, and content for marketing, you have to use what the client gives you um, and create something that is special and unique to just that business which takes some creativity and some innovation um, the same thing when you talk about business development um, some clients may have done a lot on their own but it's up to you as their consultant to come up with some new and fresh ideas on things that they can do to either get their business out there or to start making more money um, and then lastly if you're doing training Training is, is really a creative thing. Um, you're, you're actually sitting and you're writing, you're writing content, but you're also writing in activities and you are trying to make sure that it relates to your audience. So it takes a lot of skill. Sometimes you have to be witty um, and sometimes you have to do a lot of research um, and then you have to take that research and you have to fit it into a format that works for your client or that represents you and your brand. And to do that, you have to be creative. And if you get yourself to a point where you found that you're frustrated or you're overwhelmed, sometimes it can be really, really hard to get into your creative space. Um, and so that's what we're going to talk about today um, as a pitfall. What do you do when you are at a point where you have to be creative, but you are not experiencing that motivation that you need to be creative um, and some of the things that may be causing you to, to be stuck in a rut? So for me, um, I can tell you, number one, the number one reason reason why I get stuck in a rut when it comes to creativity is just being overwhelmed. So having a lot of projects and not enough time. Um, for a lot of you guys know um, that not only do I own my own business, but I have several entities of my business. Um, I also am in school getting my second master's. And then I have, you know, just regular day-to-day -day things like I'm registering people to vote. I am trying to be involved in my community. And sometimes I just get really overwhelmed and there's just so much much to do to the point where I just don't feel creative or maybe I just don't have the energy or the brain power to be as creative as I'd like. Um, and then that takes me to the next um, option, which is just having too many projects. Um, sometimes you have so many projects that as as a marketing manager that you have to be creative um, on and they all kind of start running into one another and then you just get overwhelmed. Um, and the next thing is that um, it kind of can be hard to be creative when you're worried about finances. So, you know, we all have that moment where something is due or we have something very important that we have to take care of. And when you you are worried about finances it's not as easy to be creative as a lot of people think so especially when you have especially when your creativity is what drives your ability to make money um, and it kind of seems like you get stuck in like a loop where you just can't get out of it um, and then another thing is, um, and I didn't. This is just a new addition to to it. Sometimes it's hard to be creative when you are around a lot of negativity. So if you're around people who aren't bringing positive energy and they're not, they're not being, um, they're they, they they don't have creativity or they are being negative and the energy is really thrown off. It makes it hard to get into that kind of space where your energy is high volume. You feel positive and that in the ideas are. Flowing. Flowing. Um, and then the last one is also you can have trouble with being creative if you are not getting sufficient rest. So my mother would be really happy that I added that one in because I do not get a lot of rest because I spend so much time trying to jam pack my day and get as many things done in 24 hours as I can to the point that sometimes I literally fall asleep 
with my laptop sitting on my lap or with my cell phone in my hand trying to get some last minute social media done. Um, but those are some of the reasons why um, people may lack creativity. So I'll just touch those again. The first one is you're overwhelmed. The second one is too many projects. The, one, the third one is that you are worried about financial responsibility. Um, and then the other thing is also that you may be around some people that are being negative and kind of stripping you of your ability to be creative. And then the other thing is you are lacking sufficient rest and you are just not able, you just don't have the brain power to come up with the ideas as easily as you have been. So what do you do about that? when you are at that point um, and especially when your livelihood depends on your ability to be creative you have got to swiftly get yourself out of that funk you have to figure out what it is that you're going to do so I'll tell you guys some of the things that I did um, it's funny because today I literally didn't know what I was going to talk about I wasn't feeling creative at all so I went to a friend and I was like hey this is what I'm experiencing and he was like well guess what that's what you should talk about. So it was really just that simple. Um, but what I will tell you is the easiest thing for you to do is get yourself to a happy place. So wherever you go that you feel the most creative, like if that's if you sit outside in the park, if it's sitting in your garage, if it's sitting in your office, if it is just going to a friend's house and, and talking with that friend, or if it's, you know, getting a hug from that person that you absolutely love, um, sometimes you just have to get to your happy place, whether it's a physical place that you go to, or if it's a mental place that's inside your head that you have to go to, but you have to find your happy place because when you're happy, that is when you're the most creative. Now, some people are creative when they're sad. Um, some people, it, they, their creativity is born out of struggle and that's okay. If that is you, then you need to go find a struggle so you can be creative. Um, the next one, I, the next thing I would say is everybody has a go-to habit. They have some kind of ritual or they have some type of go-to vice. Um, and for that, like, I'm going to be honest with you. If it's chocolate, go have a piece of chocolate. If it's coffee, go drink some coffee. If it is a glass of Mayomi Pinot Noir, go have that. Um, whatever it is that you do that puts you in your happy place or puts you in a place where you feel creative, um... And if you notice the things that I said, those are things that I absolutely love. So I like chocolate and I like Pinot Noir. That's if you guys want to give me any gifts, just keep that in mind because December is coming up and my birthday is December 21st and you are welcome to give me chocolate and Pinot Noir. Just want to get that shout out there. Okay, the next thing is going to be... Um, do some either do something or go find something that is inspirational. I go and listen to Eric um, Eric Thomas, the hip hop preacher. He inspires me all the time, every time. And if you get, if I get done listening to him and I can't be creative, I have absolutely no clue what will move me to be creative. Um, but also, a lot of times, just going and spending some time with my son, he's very very creative as well. So sometimes just sitting with him and listening to what he's done with his day um, helps me or sometimes just going and talking to my mom and hearing you know what her day was like or hearing she's creative when it comes to cooking so everyone has their own creative place or creative space and sometimes you just have to go out there and go find that thing that inspires you and renews your creativity so those are my things. So I'll go over those again for you really quickly, just in case you missed it. The very first thing is find your happy place, whether you have to physically go to a happy place or you have to mentally go to a happy place. You see that? That's a smile. That's a happy place. So get to that. The next thing is whatever your go-to vice is, if there is something that makes you happy, whether it's food, whether it's conversation, whether it's a smell. Um, I love to burn incense or have lavender in the office. It helps me be creative and it clears my mind. Um, if it's a nice glass of wine, um, just whatever your vice is that helps you be creative. And then the last thing is inspiration. Go or do or, or be involved in or watch or hear something that inspires you to be creative and it doesn't matter what it is it could be viewing art it could be a motivational speaker it could be even looking back on something that you've done before that was creative that inspired you but what you have to do is that you have to do something to get yourself back to the space where you can be creative so entrepreneur pitfall number 11 is making sure that you can get yourself back to your creative Creativity, especially when your profession depends on being creative. So 
that is our um, pitfall for today. And I have enjoyed talking with you guys. And again, as you are going to hear in every single solitary video, please go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm doing a video every day. This is the one, num this is number 11 for October 11th. Um, also, if you have the opportunity, go and like us on social media. You can find me under Tiffany Taylor Hicks or under Velvet Rope Experience. I enjoyed having this conversation with you guys today, and I will see you guys tomorrow with pitfall number 12. Thank you.